Hey guys, this is Kai from WCC, and today we're going to take a look at one of the easiest decks to transition from standard to premium, and that is the post premium collection Neo Nectar deck. Now, this deck is perfect for beginners who really haven't played much premium or don't know how it's played because it will teach you the basics of what you need to do in premium. So I'll go through the deck first. I'll explain what the cards are in there for, and then I'll go through how the deck is played and maybe some combos. So first off, you'll see that this deck is running 12 crit. Thanks to the new premium collection crit, all premium decks can run 12 crit with 15k defense. And that's actually very important because the metagame now has become very, the combo decks has become very strong. You need to find a way to out aggro them so they cannot combo you properly. And 12 crit and being aggressive is one of the ways to do it. You can see that this deck is not running any nulls because you're playing this aggressively. It actually doesn't need nulls because you get quite a lot of defense from your V cards. So, zero lineup, 12 crit, 4 heal. Grade 1 lineup, you're running 3 Rebecca's, 3 Fruit Basket Elf. 4 Murka and 4 Padmini. So Padmini is your stride fodder, but you might not need to run 4 of them. It's up to you. I like to run 4 because I want to just make sure I can stride all the time. Murka is your key card. You cannot run less than 4 in my opinion. It basically calls a, field, a column for you for free because everything is nearly free in this deck. So you've got to run 4. Fruit Basket Elf and Rebecca are kind of the cards you can replace. The Rebecca will allow you to push early, which is actually very important in this deck. The Fruit Basket will also let you push early by giving you free tokens and can kind of help you later on when you're short on tokens against a retired deck. So in my opinion, that's why I'm running this lineup. You see people run nulls to replace one of these sets, and that's perfectly fine if they want more defensive options, but I'm going in all in in the beginning. Grade 2, you're running Sylvia. Pretty much, of course, you're running it. Urban Soul, very, still very good in premium, <laughs> getting that power, it fulfills the condition of doing early aggression and then drawing a card, and in premium, this card, if called via G Guardian, is a good defensive option as well, so great card in premium. Gladiolus is the one card that you might have some trouble finding, it's from an old Neo Nectar TD, but it basically enables you to have more multi-attack options, so very important. And then... For the grade 3s, you're running Explosive Tomato and Maiden of Trolling Rose, uh, Trailing Rose. Uh, Maiden of Trailing Rose is way better than Cecilia in, premium, in Premium. Trailing Rose can push early. If you ride grade 3 first, you'll be able to get your tokens super fat. She calls tokens when you ride. Cecilia doesn't do anything. And then, yeah, it actually has a rearguard effect. So that's very, very important. Trailing Rose superior to Cecilia in every way in premium. The one card that people have been running as well is Kaivant at grade 2 for the extra power. I've found that I actually haven't really needed that extra power in the scenarios that I've playtested through. So it's up to you. The slots at grade 2 is pretty limited though. So you're probably taking like a Gladiolus or an Ermin Soul for that. For some Kaivants and then getting rid of a grade 1 slot. So it's really up to you. At the premium, the, the stride side, the most important cards is just Katrina's. You might not need to run for Katrina's. So, uh, I'm just putting four Katrina's there just because you can. The, your stride zone, your G zone is actually very, very malleable to whatever you want it to be. Important thing is you must at least run three Katrina's, in my opinion. The rest can be whatever you want. The G guards that you probably will want the most is the Costarina and Antaro because they're super fat. The uh, Rain Rain Rainbow Dragon lets you uh, recycle your cards, which is kind of important. And these like Ractome and Colburn are just there for utility. Most of these cards are here for utility. Primavera for if you're just out of cards in your deck and you need to recycle, at least it can give you like five attacks. Uh, Seabreeze, rarely use it, it's just there because. Zoa, kind of just there as well, you can randomly win games. I 
any other cards that you want to put in it's really up to you if you want to put waifu cards that's up to you too so how this deck really plays is you play it like standard neo nectar in the beginning you make a free field you bash him for free everything is free even katrina is free she doesn't require any counter blast she only requires tokens on the field that you get for free so yeah you just bash early for free you fight for first stride once you get first stride your katrina will make six or seven attacks that are pretty much or pretty tough to guard from your opponent's position as they've been taking your aggression early on katrina will just thin your deck call a field you'll probably hit like one or two crits and then gg that's how you win if they're able to guard they won't be able to attack you for much because their hand will be so depleted but if their hand is not that low if you're playing against anji trois you can at least guard one turn the the amount of guard that v cards get should not be underestimated you have v cards and you have g guards so that should be enough to last you at least one turn and if it's not a deck that pumps huge columns like anji trois then you can likely survive another turn after that as well so if they're not dead by your second katrina you might have another chance to kill them again so we'll go through some of the combos that you can actually do of katrina so let's just take a look here here we have your five tokens looks nice you've gotten five tokens you strike katrina after your attack with 30 and 40 you don't you don't really want to go force two you want to just go force one but you go 30 40 Katrina attacks, bam, you make something like this. Now, this looks pretty weird. You've got a grade two in the back. What is it doing there? Well, you'll see soon. Your Merka is called. Merka is great because it gets a token. But basically, what you're going to do is you're going to call five. The one key card you're going to get is Gladiolus. And then your Merka replaces the card that was called here. And then the card that's called here, uh, you, you put it like a Sylvia or a trolling rose and play the token over itself because you want tokens tokens are 15k they they hit big okay so after you make this column your token attacks by itself that's 25k your gladiolus attacks gladiolus has to clone something so it's gonna clone your gladiolus here to put it here now your gladiolus is boosted by murka bashes this gladiolus will clone the murka and call it on this side and then you get that's how you get seven attacks it's a perfect field but sometimes your gladiolus goes to damage zone you don't have three there you can still make six attacks six attacks is good enough okay uh go on but sometimes you just don't have your max tokens right you can still do this with something like three tokens so here you have three tokens bash one side bash the other side katrina attacks now you make something like this all right now what this is going to do is your tomato is placed here, your trolling rose is placed here, and it calls one to boost the tomato, and your gladiolus is not being boosted, but it's okay, because after your tomato attacks, your tomato turns into two tokens, your tomato turns into a token here, and then one to boost gladiolus, and then your gladiolus can attack and copy a trolling rose and thin your deck by one. This trolling rose can be something like a Sylvia, that's fine too, as long as you can clone something. You can clone something, okay? So, you make six attacks like that. That's great. They're all big attacks as well. They're not like 10k, 11k, or whatever. This, this is like 24, 29, 30, 40. The, those numbers are what you're hitting. You're making f five, six, seven attacks like that. Your opponent will have a very hard time guarding. So, all in all, if you're new to premium, this is a perfect deck for you. You've seen a few variants of this deck top several vgcs's and gp akibas and you also have seiji who really likes neo nectar he's been innovating this deck since the beginning so big shout outs to him if you like premium if you like this kind of content we'll make more in the future so i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you in the next one bye